All right. This is weird. I got an email from a 16-year-old from London, I think. And he sent me an email talking about he was too old to take piano lessons. I already sent him an email back, but I didn't go in at all. I need to go in real quick because I hate when people do this whole age thing. Like, I'm too old to do this. I'm too young to do this. So, so let's just start off with the first thing. You're 16. There's really not too much you're too old to do. Like, possibly trick-or-treating. But I think you could still pull that off. Like, all your sentences should really start with, I'm too young to, or I'm too young to do this. Like, all your anxiety sentences should start with that. It should never be, I'm too old to. So let's just get that out the way first. But I thought about it, and I was like, all right, if I'm 16 and I'm just starting piano lessons, what would I be afraid of? And the number one thing I was afraid of when I was 16 was, what will my friends think? Will my friends make fun of me? So I'm not going to be one of them people who are, like, unrealistic. I know your friends' opinions matter. They shouldn't, but you see them, like, five days a week when you're 16. So it matters. So my answer to you is don't tell them. Just don't. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. You ain't need. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. You ain't need. You ain't need. Gotta... Like, there's so many things I did in high school and middle school that I didn't tell my friends. I just did it. And hopefully they didn't find out. For example, I had a trampoline wrestling association in eighth grade. I was Shawn Michaels. I didn't tell nobody about that. I've been to anime conventions every year, almost every year since like 2003. I don't tell my friends about that. A lot of my friends don't even know about this YouTube channel. People can get in the way of things you want to do, so just don't tell them. They'll start doing it, and in a few years, you'll just wow them with your piano playing. And the other thing was uh, just age. We always let age stop us from doing the stuff that we like to do. So we'll say we're too old for something. We'll say we're too young for something. And who says those are the rules for age? I don't, there's no cutoff or start date for age on things you want to do for the most part. Like, I really think that age thing is just an excuse to get out of doing something that you're passionate about or maybe passionate about. Like, you got to think, man. Like, 2 Chainz didn't have his first hit until he was like 35. Juicy J is 41 years old, 41, and he might be having the best part of his rap career right now. But you're too old to take piano lessons? F out of here, man. F out of here. So basically, go take your piano lessons. Don't tell anybody. Just tell your parents or whatever. That's about it, because they're probably going to have to help you pay for it. Go take your piano lessons, and then call it a day. Like, you don't got to tell anybody. Just go play it. But there are some things you should know about piano lessons. The really life lessons, but I'm just talking about piano right now. So the first thing is there's always going to be a little insecurity in your head that you're not good enough for the piano. So mine are like my impro improvisation is weak. Uh, I've never played, I haven't played live in front of like a crowd since like elementary school. We had some like cowboy author come in and then they had me at the end play. She'll be coming around the mountain. I don't know. Another thing you need to know about piano lessons is that when you mess up, just keep playing the song. Most people aren't going to hear the mess up if you just play. Like, they don't really care about what you're doing. They're probably thinking about, I don't know, you're 16. What do 16-year-old thinks about? Think about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but don't wallow in the mistake. Um, they're not going to hear it. You just keep, you just keep playing. And it'll make you it'll make you even better piano player because you'll stop making that mistake and it'll already be smooth for you. And the third thing is to ask for help, just like anything else in life. Like I just started, uh, or I just stopped taking piano lessons a couple years ago, and that's like 19, 20 years in, and I still don't think I'm as good or where I should be at. But it keeps you like level headed too. So I would play a song and I'd be like, "There's nothing else you could do to this song. Like I killed this, I killed this." Then my piano teacher would come every Saturday. And he would kill it, Steph Curry with the shot boy. And then jump on the saxophone, have me play behind him. Then he say, see you next week, Jeremiah. I'd be like, yeah, see you next week, motherfucker. So speaking of always asking for help, I had to make some life changes. So a little update. Uh, took my full-time job down to part-time so I could do this more. Because I like this more than that. Um, switched up my room. My mom had an extra building in her uh, offices. So I just took one of the rooms and pretty much just can't be here from like 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. So like, that's a good deal. That's better than people knocking on my apartment, talking about I need to turn down my music. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> so 
So I moved, I moved rooms, changed the job, and I just want to post more videos. I, I always have like a consistency problem. So I'll kill it for a couple weeks and then I won't see you guys for like a month because I killed it three weeks ago. It's stupid. So I had to make some life changes to make sure there's room for this because I care about this more than that. So expect more content. Uh, just expect more in general. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm putting that out there. Call me out if I'm not doing it. But that's basically it. I will see you guys in a few days. There's going to be a lot of Drake tutorials coming up. If you don't like Drake and Chance the Rapper, I'll just see you in a few weeks. Because that's all I'm listening to. That's my ish. I love that. I love those albums. That's all I'm listening to right now. So yeah, if you don't like Drake and Chance, I'm sorry. I'll see you in a couple weeks. See you guys later.